I just find myself in this just perpetual state of confusion and just in this same loop constantly and I'm not going anywhere. I'm like a hamster on one of those little wheels and just running and running and running and I'm not getting anywhere. Hi guys, I'm looking a bit crazy right now because I was going to get ready for work, like put makeup on, but I'm only working from home today so oh, my face is probably really red because I've just put sun cream on. This one is. But yeah, I don't really feel like I want to put makeup on today. Do you want to put lip balm on? I'm going to do my brows actually because I've not had my eyebrows done in ages and I feel like they don't look anything alike. So we'll have to rectify that. I was just thinking of like how I feel like I don't ever... I really can't multitask. I was thinking earlier on that I just don't feel like I ever start and complete a task. I feel like I quit everything and it's really frustrating. Every time I feel like I seem to be getting somewhere with a certain project or a certain thing, I have this like instinct inside of me that's like, give up. I don't even know if it's an instinct. I don't think that is an instinct because my instincts are probably wanting me to carry on and make a living for myself. But I just give up so quickly. It's not even like I give up, but I just feel like I want to give up. And like most of the time I do give up, but like in this instance, I'm not because I'm aware of it. I'm thinking about it right now. But like, I just feel like I change my mind so quickly and so frequently. Maybe that's the Gemini coming out of me. It's the Gemini Zoom is, I don't know. I just feel like I have so many thoughts running around in my mind. And sometimes I really struggle to get my thoughts out in a way that makes sense. Sometimes I'll feel really creatively blocked because I've got all the ideas. I've got all of the thoughts inside of me that I want to bring out into the world, but I get very overwhelmed by my own thoughts and I can't seem to bring anything to fruition or finish or complete anything. And I'll just jump onto the next task. Like I'll jump onto another thing because this feeling of overwhelm, I can't deal with it. I can't handle it. So I don't want to do that and I don't but then it means that I have nothing to show for my life essentially which has been like a reoccurring theme in my life recently of me thinking this but I'm getting to the point where I'm like I'm really sick of my shit and I just want to stick to something and stay committed to it and just see it through to fruition but my thing is like if something if I'm doing something and it's not working sometimes that could just be a case of like you need to give it time like you can't just plant a seed in the ground and water it once and expect it to be like a beautiful flower so you do need to give things time but then sometimes I'm like no I need to pivot I need to do something else I need to do something else and it all gets very overwhelming like I get really stressed about it and then when I'm feeling stressed that's when I go into like unhealthy habits and self-sabotage. I'll want to eat bad food and I'll want to fall off track and I won't want to wake up early in the morning. Like just recently, the past two weeks, I've not been getting up early in the morning because one, I'm just following how I'm feeling at the minute and how I'm feeling is tired. But two, like, I just don't, I can't physically get out of bed. Like, I can't physically bring myself out of bed. And I do think that I'm probably making myself more tired because I just think so much. Like, I have so many thoughts in my head and I love learning. I love taking in new information and I don't seem to know when to stop. I mean, sometimes I do, but like, I don't want to, like, I know when to stop, but I don't want to stop. Like, I do want to just keep learning. I want to keep listening to new podcasts and listen to audiobooks and blah, blah, blah. Don't get me wrong. When I am feeling in a sane state, I am able to like do my yoga and meditate and ground myself and balance my nervous system. But I just feel like I don't know how to not even that I don't know how to like I just don't want to regulate my nervous system at the minute I'm just like no I don't want to do that that's boring but it's not boring it's really not boring <laughs> I feel like, honestly, for so many years, I really resented the fact that I was a Gemini and people would say to me, oh, you're a Gemini, like, you have the traits of a Gemini. I completely disassociated with being a Gemini. I was like, no, I'm not a Gemini. I don't have any of the traits. It's absurd. I don't even associate with it. But now, like, as I've gotten older and, like, more self-aware, I've realised that I truly am the epitome of a Gemini because I think you'll probably see from my videos one video I'm feeling really happy and upbeat and talking about positive things and things that you should be doing and then the next minute I am having a nervous breakdown it's like the two sides of the coin because sometimes like I really do rate myself like I will be so confident and so self-assured and feeling great like the Kanye complex 
looks. But then I think I'm a little bit of a wounded Gemini as well because on the other side of the coin, I will be really low self-esteem and feeling really shit about myself and feeling like I can't do anything and feeling like I just want to keep giving up and trying again and giving up, trying again, doing all these different things. And I just find myself in this just perpetual state of confusion and just in this same loop constantly and I'm not going anywhere. I'm like a hamster on one of those little wheels and just running and running and running and I'm not getting anywhere. Like I'm putting in all of the work but I'm not getting any results because I'm just going around in circles and I really struggle to get myself out of that feedback loop. Also, excuse my baby hairs. They are so just like uncontrollable. I can't do anything with them. If I gel them, then they'll just go spiky. They don't stick down, they just spike up. So we're just gonna have to deal with the baby hairs. So yeah, I feel like I'm in a state of, I know what to do, I know what I need to do, I know all the answers, but I don't wanna do them at the minute. I feel very stubborn and rebellious against myself. I don't know what that's all about. I feel like I also struggle to function properly. Like sometimes I feel like my brain isn't quite working how it should. <laughs> because I just, I feel like things really confuse me and it takes me such a long time to learn such simple things and I can get so hung up on something so simple. People will try to explain something to me, you know, with like change, when you're giving change, because I work in a restaurant and when I'm giving change, sometimes when my brain just stops working, it goes into that freeze state and I'm like, no, I don't know how, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to work this out. And I was really good at maths at school, but I got a B in maths. I feel like kids nowadays get like, A's, A stars across the board. But at the time, I feel like a B was pretty good at maths. And I am good at maths. I feel like I have a very logical head, but sometimes it's like that part of my brain turns off and I don't know how to use it. I wonder if that's like down to like my nervous system as well. Like when my nervous system's not regulated, I do go into that freeze response. That is my default nervous system response just from childhood and things I've dealt with. Like I noticed that I freeze and I don't wear very well under pressure either. So I am a really good person parallel parker like I'm so good at parallel parking I'm so good at a lot of things but it's like when I'm under pressure and when someone's looking at me I can't do it like I physically can't do it my body seizes up and I can't do it it took me four times to pass my driving test and that probably doesn't seem like that much I mean it is but it might not seem like that much but I actually was taking driving lessons for about from the age of 17 to 21 <laughs> And I knew how to drive, like I could drive. In my driving lessons, I was a really good driver, but as soon as it got to the test, I couldn't do it. I just completely freaked out. Not even freaked out, like my body just went, mm, no, no, I can't do that. So sometimes I feel like my brain, I don't know if it's my brain's fault. I'm blaming my brain, but it's probably just like my fault, like my whole body, like how my body runs and my nervous system. But I feel like it just doesn't cooperate with me sometimes. And sometimes I'll have these amazing ideas and I really wanna bring them to you guys and I wanna talk about things. But then when I start talking about them, I can't articulate it in a way that I feel like you guys deserve. Like I wanna give you guys value. I say this while literally filming a video of me chatting absolute shit but I feel like I feel like we relate, like you you get it. But like, I wanna give you guys value when I'm giving the more sort of structured advice kind of videos. I wanna give you guys value. I don't wanna be giving you like bullshit generic advice. Like I wanna give you, sorry, my personal experience and the advice that has helped me. And I wanna be able to get it off my chest and articulate it, but I really struggle. Like I can't do it. And you're probably watching this and thinking like, right, you've probably got ADHD or autism. And girl, I suspect the same, genuinely. I don't know how one goes about finding out if they have autism, but I feel like I probably do. But yeah, it's just crazy. I feel like I do really have two personalities. I have two different sides of me. Like one side is really happy, really confident, really bubbly and excited. And I do feel like I am generally quite, I'm like this all the time. I do have this like constant flow of energy, but then there are certain times of the month or certain times of my life where I'm giving out all the energy, but I'm like physically exhausting myself. Whereas other times I can speak and speak and speak and I'm not gonna be exhausting myself. So all this to say, I just feel like I can't make a decision Decision. I can't stick to things. I always change my mind. And a part of this, I feel like is very justified. Like I feel like a lot of us will probably be struggling with this because our day and age, our generation, we have access to so much information and so many routes that we can take in our life. And we have so many options. And I do think that's good, but then I also think it's probably not good at all because 
we just get paralyzed by all of these decisions and all of these things that we have to do to the point where it gets to the evening and you're deciding what you want to have for tea and you physically can't think about it that is me every single day if someone asks me what i want for tea i'm like i don't want anything i would rather starve than answer that question also if i sound croaky it is because it's the morning i never film in the morning i do feel like sometimes i do have a croaky voice don't know why that is i don't smoke yeah so i don't blame us if you're feeling like that as well like i don't blame my generation for feeling a bit scatty and feeling a bit like they can't collect their thoughts because we are literally put in an environment where we have to make so many decisions on a daily basis to the point where like I do just literally wear black clothes all the time generally in life I don't usually wear black clothes in my videos but that's because I want to like spice it up but generally in life I do wear black clothes and it's because I can't bother to make a decision and black goes with everything but then I think I would be more able to make a decision about the little things if I was just more set in stone about the big decisions in my life and not constantly doubting myself. This was another thing that I was thinking about is that the fact that I feel like I can't stick to anything and I quit everything before it's even really come to fruition. I do feel like that is rooted in low self-esteem and low self-worth because I've definitely been experiencing that recently and it does come up in my life quite often. Like it's kind of cyclical the way that it comes around but I have been feeling low self-worth like popping up every now and then and like low self-esteem and that's when you start to doubt yourself like I will watch my content like sometimes I'll put my content out there when I make it and I'm so confident in it I'm like yep the world needs to hear this even if they don't because I do chat shit in a lot of my videos but I'm like yep the world needs to hear this this is amazing I love this video I will watch it myself like so so many times because I really like it and I feel very heard by my own videos but then other times I will watch my videos and I will be like uh like I don't I don't want to watch that like I can't watch it or I'll just like start doubting myself and it's not because of the content of the actual video it's just me thinking I don't want to watch that video because of my perception of myself and the way that I see myself so I do think that self-esteem like if you've got low self-esteem constantly because I don't feel like I have low self-esteem constantly I do think that I have built up quite a strong self-esteem but if you do have low self-worth and low self-esteem all of the time and you're feeling like this I can probably guarantee it's down to the low self-worth because to do certain things especially to do this job like you need to have a certain level of conviction and like knowing that your content is good and just putting it out there and then moving on and doing something else which I do but it doesn't stop me from feeling like oh my god that content wasn't good enough like I do sometimes think about about it but I am actively like retraining my brain to not think that way because we're all our own worst critics like we're always going to criticize everything that we do more than anyone else and like no one hyper fixates on our problems like we do and I do just find it so crazy like how powerful our perception is and the way we see ourselves. because say if I'm going through a phase where I'm not viewing myself in a good way I see that reflected in everything around me like that's how I think that other people are looking at me in that moment and it truly is based on how I feel about myself and it just goes to show that like how you think that others perceive you is purely based on how you view yourself so this is why I'm really actively working on strengthening my self-worth and my self-belief and self-esteem because it's so important when I'm feeling low and down about myself I think that everyone hates me I think that everyone is so annoyed at me I think that my boyfriend doesn't love me anymore like I'll have all of these intrusive thoughts coming into my brain but it is genuinely down to how I'm viewing myself and how I'm just being so harsh on myself and being so critical about everything that I'm doing and same goes for my content like I know my content's good I know that I have very insightful information and I have a lot to share with you guys and I have good advice and good tips but then there's certain times where I just really doubt myself and I just don't rate myself and I feel like in this world you need to rate yourself so highly you have to rate yourself because if you don't you're gonna Feel like no one else does even if they do you're gonna feel like they don't and also when you have confidence in yourself that radiates that energy radiates to the other people and then they have confidence in you and i see this in just my working life because as I say, like Gemini, two personalities, like sometimes I'll go into work and I'm so, so confident. Like I feel like I'm confident all the time in work, but sometimes I'm very extroverted and I'm feeling like my best self. And then other times I'm feeling a little bit more inwards and introverted and I don't really want to speak to anyone, but I'm still confident, if you know what I mean. But the times where I'm feeling introverted, I 
feel like everyone is looking at me and judging me and thinking that I'm being rude and antisocial. And the truth is that my internal world and my internal state of being literally has nothing to do like with anybody else's perception. They have no idea what's going on inside of here. So you can literally fake it until you make it. And that's how I gain the level of confidence that I have because I do think that I have a sustained level of confidence no matter how I'm feeling now, which I didn't used to have. But even with confidence, you still might feel that judgment within yourself and you might still feel insecure and you might still feel like you're not good enough. And that's all internally, but then on the surface, you can be confident. I don't know if any of that just made sense my brain just went anyway guys i am commencing work right now <laughs> so i'm gonna love you and leave you i hope you guys are all doing okay if this video resonated with you let me know because i've been feeling very alone at the minute and feeling like i am fucking crazy and that it's only me experiencing these things which i know it's not like i know other people will be but it just feels that way and i feel like i am very weird and i can't get anything done but I'm learning to show up in a way that is authentic and is myself and not feeling like I need to be a certain kind of person and like put myself in a box because I really don't need to do that and none of us need to do that. We are allowed to show up authentically and be ourselves, and that should be completely fine. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe because it really helps me out. I would appreciate it so much and I love you forever. I love you forever anyway, like whether you subscribe or not, but it would really help me if you did subscribe and like this video. I don't usually say stuff like that in my videos, but I felt called to today. I don't know why. Anyway, I love you guys so much and I will speak to you next week.